Hey everyone, welcome back to Python for Beginner series and this is going to be our video number 47 and in this video we, we are going to create the Shodan API key authentication script. Let's first read the question that write a Python script that prompts the user to enter the Shodan API key and then authenticates the key by sending the test query to the Shodan API. If the key is valid, the script should print authentication successful and if the key is invalid the script should print authentication failed so let's see how we can write this script okay let me first connect to the internet okay so for creating this script we have to import the shodan library shodan okay so first you have to install it okay let me show you how you can install this Okay, you have to use pip install shodan. Okay, this will be the command to install the shodan library. Okay, let me hit enter. Okay, requirement already satisfied because I have already installed this particular library. Okay, after that, we'll create API key variable and we'll ask the input from the user that is enter your shodan api key now let's initialize the shodan api object and for that matter we'll use api variable equal to shodan dot shodan and we'll provide our api key okay so this is the method of initializing the shodan api object now let's use the try catch statement will use try so in our try blog will perform a test query to validate the api key okay so and for that we'll use the result variable results equal to api dot search we're gonna search the test okay we're gonna search test in our shodan search engine now let's print the success message if the query was successful so we'll use authentication successful like this is our requirement that is authentication successful and if the key is invalid the script should print authentication field okay okay after that we'll use the accept shodan dot api error as e and we'll print an error message if the api key is invalid so we'll use print let me copy the authentication authentication failed and we'll have to use percent s we'll use percent e that is exception so this is the main logic of the script like we try to perform test query by calling the search function on the api object and passing the string test as a search query this this one and if the query is successful we are printing the authentication successful message and if there is an error we catch the shodan api error exception and print the authentication fail along with the error message and this person symbol is used for string formatting in python uh, when you use the percent s you know we are using the percent s here it means that the python will substitute it with the string representation of an object in this case we want to print the error message represented by the e that is exception right e is for exception here so we use percent s as a placeholder for the message and this percent e will format an exception object as a string including the type and message of the exception okay so let's open the google and uh, i have to log in first to the shodan.io Shodan is a search engine that lets users search for various types of server connected to the internet using a variety of filters. So let's log in. So first you have to create a Shodan account. So I have already logged in to the Shodan and you have to click on this account. And here you will find your API key. Okay. We will reset my API key after shooting this video. Let me copy the API key and uh, so let's run the code and uh, i have already copied my api key so 
I have pasted authentication successful cool now let's run the code again let me change some let's change some letters like 990 okay copy it and paste it authentication failed invalid api key cool so our program is working so this is a short and simple script to test the validity of a shodan api key and uh, your api key will be different huh and uh, i have a video of shodan let me show you let me close this if you want to learn more about shodan so i have already created a video for you like i have explained the command line interface of shodan in that video i think that was a part one uh these are my python videos uh, uh, uh. It, it should be in a playlist okay like the penetration testing tools this one okay this one is recon ng see shodan shodan cli guide hey everyone welcome back to the penetration we'll put the link in the description box of this video so if you if you want to learn more about shodan queries so you can watch this video the shodan interface is really simple by the way so i have some other plans in our next video we'll see how we can search the open ports of an ip address you can easily apply this code in your project as well if you are working on some shodan related project and yeah that's it for this video guys just give it a try and let me know your thoughts in a comment section We'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and keep learning. Bye-bye.